Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna be reviewing a Shelby Super Snake. The reason I wanted to do a video on the Super Snake is because there are huge discounts on these Super Snakes. Now that uh, some of these have been sitting at dealerships for a little bit longer, the dealers have decided to discount them quite a bit, and so we're gonna go over the truck and decide if now is the time to buy a Super Snake. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with this truck. They do still have some of these available for sale with some monster discounts on them. So if you're interested, link to their website in the description down below. Link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Powering this is a supercharged 5 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 775 horsepower and well over 600 pound feet of torque. It's so cool to see the supercharger powder coated in blue and then you can see carbon fiber here with the intake. Just a really cool setup overall, but yeah, big power for a single cab. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So I'm going to do a quick overview of the upgrades you get on the Super Snake, then we'll take it out, drive it, and talk about whether or not this is worth going for with the big discounts. So first off, you get these cool stripes. You can see that goes all the way down. You've got this custom hood. You can see the supercharge badge there on the side. You got the venting here that's actually functional in the front. And then you got this big grill here. Notice how it's all open. Again, to feed that supercharged V8. Shelby logo there. And then you've got the custom bumper here at the bottom. Notice how you've got this that is super rugged. So if you do hit into something, it's going to be able to take an impact. But also it's kind of like a front splitter because this is a race truck at the end of the day. They also upgrade the tires and the wheels. So you can see this whole setup here with the Shelby logo. I think that looks cool. And I love the red brake helper as well. They add these fender flares. And then you can see with the badging and everything. And then they also upgrade the exhaust that's side mounted now. It looks crazy. And this whole truck just looks crazy. I mean, look at this thing. It's a single cab for goodness sakes. And then they do also upgrade the suspension. It's going to be hard to see, but it, you obviously saw it's lowered, but you've got upgraded shocks and everything. They're adjustable. More Super Snake there. You got this cap here on the bed. And then you can see with the Super Snake and the stripes, the stripes go all the way down to the back. It's pretty cool. And then they also upgrade the interior. So normally this has like a very base interior because it's a work truck, but they upgrade with the seats. They also upgrade the pedals, carbon fiber trim. They give you a cool plaque. And then this was a 22. So you get the 60 years plaque as well so and then also custom gauge cluster i forgot to mention that which they won't be able to do for 24 because 24 has a digital gauge cluster with all the trucks but normally as you can see this truck stickered for 112,440. check their website for the most up-to-date pricing but they have a blue one over there as you can see i think that one's on their website for like less than 100 grand now so like yeah, well over $10,000 off of MSRP in one of these, which, you know, once you get into a discount range of that much, it's still a lot of money, right? Close to hundred grand or, you know, maybe just over hundred grand. But for the amount of truck you're getting, I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Let's take it out and talk about it. Let us set off in the Super Snake Sport. It drives a whole lot better now that it's ten thousand dollars less. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't. I was. I came up here to do a F-150 comparison. I wasn't going to review a Super Snake, but then I, you know, as I was looking through website and everything for just regular F-150s, I saw that these were discounted pretty heavily, and so I thought, you know what? I think it's worth a video because. Yeah, again, $112,000, that's a lot of money. But um, like I said, that blue one, I think I might be wrong. Again, check their website, but I think it was like, it was like $96,000 for a brand new Super Snake, which I don't, I can't remember how much the used ones are going for, but I remember when the used ones were that expensive. And so it's like brand new truck, you got the warranty, all of that. And it's 
the same money. So I don't know. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. But let's talk about how this drives and why you would get something as crazy as a single cab with the short bed for the single cab <laughs> and almost 800 horsepower. Like, why? Uh, so first off, it sounds good. Got a nice rumble. Um, and, and you know what, single cab trucks, like here's the deal is, obviously people use trucks now as family cars, so that's why they go for the big crew cabs. But if you're not really using it as like a, you know, minivan on the side, then getting the single cab saves you money and it just makes more sense. Like it's, this interior is still, you know, spacious for what it is. You do get a little bit of storage behind the seats. And speaking of seats, I really do like these skins that they put on the seats. Just feels very premium with the uh, material. And they even put it on the side of this because they put it on the whole bench seat. So it's not just like the bench seat still <laughs> cloth. They do it on the bench seat as well. But it just makes the truck feel a bit more premium. so so much power and again that's like 10 percent throttle that guy thinks i was racing him bro i was going 10 percent throttle you're going 100 percent throttle in your little fiat come on but yeah it's it's awesome now it is it is rough with the suspension you can dial that in um you again these are adjustable shocks um, or adjustable, I think it's the coilovers are adjustable. I can't remember. It's been a minute since I reviewed one of these. But regardless, you can adjust the suspension to make it firmer or softer. Now it is pretty rainy today. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of wait till I'm straight. And then we'll kind of get into a little bit more. So much, I mean again, just partial throttle. It's so powerful. Now the one downside about the single cab Super Snake is that it doesn't have four wheel auto. The crew cab Super Snake's built off of a Lariat, so it's got four wheel auto, which makes it so you can use the power a little bit, a little bit easier. I love the supercharger. It's just like this, you get this like whistle and whine out of it. So beautiful with the sound it makes. And the V8's just such a deep rumble. It's honestly not too bad on the highway with the ride quality. Again, not as comfortable as a regular F-150, but that can be dialed in with a suspension. Thing to note is this does not drive like a pickup truck. Because it's so low to the ground and because of <laughs> the shocks and suspension, it's it, it drives like a sports car. That's why it's Super Snake Sport in this case. You have that kind of tight handling sports car feel rather than the you know floaty body roll feel that you get like it this doesn't have body roll like that is not how a pickup truck handles it still is it still has the weight of a pickup truck but it yeah it handles really well for what it is just listen to the sounds this thing makes <laughs> it's so fun this is such a fun truck it, it's kind of like the way that I look at this truck is and, and, I, and I think this is the way that some people should look at this truck which maybe this is a ridiculous thought but this is the truck you get if you want a sports car and a truck combined into one okay I'm gonna let this Hyundai in so they don't slam into that semi truck goodness um, but yeah if you want a sports car and a pickup truck combined into one so like imagine going to Home Depot and then like drifting on the way out because <laughs> you got lumber in your bed you could do that with this. That's that's what this. I don't. Know, I, I don't know what this truck's all about. It's it's just it's one of those things where it just exists because it's so ridiculous. That's kind of. It seems like that's kind of the point of existence for the Super Snake Sport. And this brings us to our close. Um, I, I again, I get it. A lot of money, but it's a very custom vehicle and. Who knows how much longer this truck will be able to exist because, you know, as of right now, Ford's still cranking out 5.0 V8 trucks, so this can still be built for the 24 model year, but we don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, the emissions restrictions in the U.S. just keep getting stricter and stricter as time goes on. And so as those get stricter, we lose more and more V8s, and, you know, once there's no longer a V8, I mean, I'm sure they'll, you know, 
filled some sort of super snake sport out of something. Who knows what it will look like, but it won't be this, right? As soon as the V8's gone, it won't be 5.0 V8 supercharged F-150 single cab crazy vehicle. It'll maybe be an EV. I mean, who knows what it'll be, so. Let me know you think about this and let me know in the comment section below because I'm sure that, you know, maybe maybe Shelby American will read some of the comments. Maybe, uh, we'll see. But what do you think this truck's worth? Like, again, realistically, because I know some people are gonna be like, uh, if you give it to me for free, I'll take it. Okay, that's not realistic. But, you know, if with what this truck is, single cab with the Shelby, you know, logos and everything with the supercharger, with the custom interior. Um, and again, this is, so this truck originally, sorry, having fun with it. This truck originally would have stickered for probably about close to, uh, not 50, probably in the 40, maybe like 40 something. Cause this is an XL single cab dual zone climate yeah so this is probably like a 40 something thousand dollar pickup truck originally so before the add-ons obviously so let me know your thoughts on the discount and let me know where where, where you what you would pay for a super snake sport what do we gotta <laughs> what is what is a shelby american gotta do to earn your business as they say in the car industry so let me know what you think and that's all